Because of a combination of travel plans on the one hand and holiday on the other, this may well be my last commentary of 2016, and as you would expect of me, it will undoubtedly be sour. But how could it be otherwise? I'm reading about the siege of Aleppo coming to an end and the Syrian conflict coming to an end. The commentators call it a meltdown of humanity. That's putting it mildly. There's rarely been such a terrible human carnage, positively monumental human carnage, while the world stands by and does absolutely nothing. There hasn't been anything like this since the Rwandan genocide of 1994. But of course, it's not just Syria. It's Libya, Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, Yemen, Central African Republic, Democratic Republic of the Congo, South Sudan, Burundi, Mali, this procession of countries embracing war crimes, crimes against humanity, incipient genocide. It's just extraordinary and it gets worse day by day, week by week. I've never seen in my lifetime a transition from one year to next which is so fraught with horror. But of course, uh, in 2017, we have another horror and that horror is called Donald Trump, and we don't know what to expect in that vein either. All we know is that we have a president-elect who tweets in the middle of the night like some prepubescent and has appointed a cabinet, or numbers of uh, administers as it were, of astonishing stupidity on the one hand and corporate cupidity on the other. And the only thing that binds them together are, are two uh, issues. Number one, they're all climate change deniers. They, 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 they have an orgy of the resuscitation of coal and natural gas and oil. They will set back this planet irreversibly over the next four years. And the other thing that strikes right at their visita, viscera and is a bond of solidarity is their misogyny. They all collectively have contempt for women. They regard gender equality as some kind of laughing stock. And the only way to deal with this regime that's coming in is to fight back, that all of us have to, over the next four years, collectively, whether we use social media or social movements or political representation or community activism, we have to make it clear that Trump won't survive beyond this four-year term. I told you it would be sour. That's last week. Mind you, mind you, wait, I shouldn't end by pointing out that there is one glimmer of light. Ban Ki-moon will be gone by the end of this year and a whole new group comes in next year and maybe they'll be able to rise above the mediocrity that has infected the organization for the last decade. There, that's better. That was last week, last year. Happy New Year, everyone, when you come to it. I'm Stephen Lewis.